the temperature at which the solid changes its state to the liquid state at same at atmospheric temperature you see mixtures are basically they are a combination of two or more substances and pure substance pure substances are normally made up of only one substance now this pure uh, solid if we take the if it is if the solid is pure so then it's uh, it have the fixed boiling point and the melting point if you take example like pure water if the water is pure no impurities there uh, pure water for the pure water okay ice it has the fixed uh, it melts at 0 degree centigrade and the water that boils at 100 degree centigrade so that is fixed for this pure water you see there are now different types of separation techniques so types of separation techniques uh, they are classified based on the type of mixtures so separation techniques in that first if you have solid liquid mixtures if you have the solid liquid mixture that is for solid in a liquid mixture and the second one is the this is a uh, generally actually you don't have this uh, this is for your knowledge only you have the simple one in this same for solid in liquid mixture and the second one uh, is the liquid a uh, liquid liquid mixture okay for liquid in liquid mixture so what techniques separation techniques used so if there is a solid in the liquid mixture then homogeneous there are homogeneous mixtures and the heterogeneous mixtures okay so homogeneous mixtures means what for example see if you uh, add the salt in a water then after some time that salt get dissolved in water and it becomes a homogeneous mixture okay so that type of uh, mixtures they are the homogeneous and the heterogeneous means like uh, if you add uh, normally turmeric or turmeric okay in water so you see the particles and if you add it uh, it will get settled at the bottom for example okay. then there are such type of mixtures are heterogeneous mixtures okay so if the solid is present in a liquid mixtures then if it is a homogeneous mixture then the separation techniques used first is the evaporation means like salt if you add salt in a water then if we evaporate it then after evaporation of water you will get the salt so first is the evaporation then second one is a distillation okay distillation is there then third one is centrifugation so for homogeneous mixtures these three techniques separation techniques are there evaporation distillation and centrifugation then for the homogeneous mixtures first one is the sedimentation or the gravitation so normally if you take soil if you add water uh, if you add the soil in a water okay then that becomes heterogeneous mixture okay so solution so if you so so sedimentation or the gravitation so if the soil if we add the soil in a water then it becomes heterogeneous mixture and if we keep that water for some time okay the soil gets settled at the bottom okay? so sedimentation or uh, then gravitation 
you will see in detail afterwards. Then second one is the filtration. Normally, uh, like solid is present in a liquid. Okay, that solid not dissolved in liquid. Also for the soil, if the soil is present in a water, you can separate it by filtration. Then there is a magnetic separation method is there. Then the fourth one is a fractional distillation. So for the, if the solid is present in a liquid or if solid liquid mixtures, if it is homogeneous, you can use the evaporation, distillation or a centrifugation. And the, for the heterogeneous mixtures, sedimentation or gravitation is there, filtration is there, magnetic separation or the fractional distillation. Then for the liquid-liquid mixtures, liquid in liquid-liquid mixture, if the mixture is homogeneous, then you will use a simple or a fractional distillation. And second one is the chromatography. Normally, for the T in TLC, and a thin layer chromatography is there. There are different types in that. So chromatography basically liquid liquid used for the liquid liquid mixtures to separate them and heterogeneous mixtures. Heterogeneous mixtures for the liquid liquid. Okay. So you will use partition separation using funnel. So this is just general information. Now, in, in same trip, okay, for your practicals, you will be provided by the, in this same, you have the solid, solid mixtures. So there are type of mixtures, solid, solid mixtures, then solid liquid mixtures and liquid liquid mixtures. Then uh, for this same, you have the solid, solid mixture. So today we will see how to or do normally in the practicals. Okay. So solid solid mixtures in that there are combinations like first one is a water soluble compound plus water insoluble compound. So these two combinations are there. Water soluble one component might be a water soluble plus water insoluble compound. And the second one is a water insoluble compound. Water insoluble, water insoluble compound. So solid solid mixtures in that you will get these two combinations normally. Water soluble compound plus water insoluble. And second one is the water insoluble compounds. Then uh, now you have to first Identify the chemical type. The first, when uh, you will give, they will give you the mixture, okay, solid solid mixture. Then you have to find out the type, whether it is acid, phenol, base. So there are combinations, chemical types like. Acid plus phenol, then acid plus neutral, which are the possible combinations. So acid plus phenol, you have the binary mixtures, okay, mixture of two compounds. So acid plus phenol, acid plus neutral, acid plus base, then phenol and neutral, base and neutral, base and phenol. Then the other uh, my combination is there that you are one of the just one second sure yeah so there are combinations then acid phenol acid neutral acid base plus base plus phenol is there and the one more is there that is water soluble acid or phenol or base or neutral 
plus water insoluble acid or phenol or base or a neutral so see now first what you will do in the practicals when you get the mixtures first you do the water solubility test water solubility test have to do to know whether the compound one of your compound is water soluble is or not so first do the water solubility test to check whether the one one of the compound is water soluble okay or not so for that what you will do We'll see. Now, see this. You, uh, what you have to do in the practical, that is separation of solute solid mixtures. So first, you will determine the type of mixtures, whether it is acid phenol, acid base, or base neutral. Okay. Second, you have to separate this mixture into the components or compounds. Separation of the mixture into components or compounds. Then the next one, you have to purify it. the purification of each compound and then you have to take the melting point physical constant to check the purity of each compound this steps involved in it now next so water for the water solubility test what you will do you will be given the uh, this mixture is there okay so you will take the small amount around 0.5 g okay not more but you will take the little amount of mixture in a test tube and add water now see students what they do normally if you have you take 0.5 g okay almost 0.5 g mixture then you don't have to add the half test tube of water okay so don't do like this take a little amount of mixture if you take the little amount of mixture around 0.5 g then you have to add just 1 or 2 ml of water okay then add water in it and then you have to shake it well this step is important because the if the you have one compound is water soluble so it will take time to dissolve in the water so you have to shake it well for 2 minutes at least 2 to 3 minutes okay you have to shake well and then you have to filter it then when you will filter it uh, normally you will filter it in evaporating dish okay then you have to evaporate that filtrate okay what is mean by filtrate when you take the mixture you will add water in it so if your one compound is water soluble then it will get dissolved in it okay and the other compound will remain added as it is if other one is the water insoluble then it will remain as it is then you have to filter it so after filtration what that water okay you will get so that is called the filtrate and the other water soluble compound it will remain on the filter paper okay which is water insoluble compound so we have uh, we have what we are saying like how to do the water solubility test okay so see in this picture that is first one so you evaporate that filtrate okay in evaporating dish so here is a evaporating dish is there here is your solution and you will heat it then what happens slowly the water gets evaporate okay. then the solution becomes more concentrated 
and after some time uh, when the all water gets evaporate okay get evaporated you will get if your mixture contains water soluble compound okay then you will get the crystallized crystallized solute okay here after the water gets evaporated so just what you will do in that you don't have to heat it too much when it becomes concentrated and then little amount is there okay so evaporating dish is or normally uh, heated and it becomes hot so when little amount of water it will remain you have to remove it because sometimes there might be a chance that uh, this ppt will get burned sometimes it happens okay so you have to take care while evaporating it so if your one compound is water soluble then you will get here the crystalline solute after water gets evaporated so if you get that crystalline solute it means one of your compound is water soluble so this is you have to do the first in the practicals when you get the mixture you have to do the water solubility test so now if you get this crystallized solute it means one of your compound is water soluble then what we will do if your compound one of the compound is water soluble then you will take the water as a separating agent if you get the combination let like if your water soluble compound is there okay and other another one is water insoluble so one of your compound is water soluble then you will take the water to separate this mixture yeah it's easy one it is easy one if uh, you get here after evaporating water if you get the uh, ppt it means one of your compound is water soluble then you will take your whole mixture and then you will take this in beaker okay and then you will add the water in it and you will stir it continuously for at, at least 5 minutes and then you will filter it uh, in the evaporating dish okay and then you will heat that filtrate in the evaporating dish and after water gets evaporated you will get your water soluble compound so this is the way in which you will separate the uh, mixture containing water soluble compound you will if your compound is water soluble then you will take the water as a separating agent okay separating reagent so this is for the water soluble compound you have okay then next now so now the other possibility is there that both should be uh, like uh, you have the water insoluble and water insoluble compound if you have the water insoluble water insoluble compound then we will start with the acid test okay so there are the compound might be it is a base it is a neutral or it is a uh, acid acid base or a neutral then for this first you done this water solubility test so if you have the water soluble compound present you will take the water as a separating reagent okay now if uh, 
the water soluble compound is not there okay uh, after evaporating the uh, water you will not get not got any ppt or okay then you do the tests for this acid test okay base so in that you will take a again you will take the fresh 0.5 g of mixture in a test tube then you will add the saturated sodium bicarbonate in it okay you will shake it well and then you will filter it now saturated sodium bicarbonate means what uh, if you take the 100 ml of water okay and you add sodium bicarbonate in it so you have to add and stir okay you have to add and stir until that sodium bicarbonates are dissolved in the water and the point comes when this sodium bicarbonate not dissolved it will remain as it is means what that becomes saturated so this is this means the saturated sodium bicarbonate means what see in water if you take the water and in this water you will add sodium bicarbonate then after some time when the saturation point comes and if you further add the sodium bicarbonate it will not get dissolved in the water it will remain as it is so you have to add little more until it not dissolved and it will remain as it is so that is normally you will be provided by the saturated sodium bicarbonate but you must know this okay you what is mean by saturated sodium bicarbonate solution so saturated sodium bicarbonate uh, you will add in the mixture okay you will shake it and then you will filter it then you uh, take that filtrate and you add you have to add concentrated hcl drop wise means if you take the filtrate now here what happens why we are using saturated sodium bicarbonate tell me anyone if you you know the what we are doing normally we are taking this mixture we adding uh, saturated sodium bicarbonate then uh, we take this filtrate and we will add we will add concentrated hcl in it then the solid appears if the solid appears then we will uh, get that uh, you write it as a carboxylic acid is present okay so what we do normally in this see mixture is there so we, we are doing this acid test so here it is saturated sodium bicarbonate is there so when you add this saturated sodium bicarbonate in a mixture so if that mixture contains one of the compound is acid okay if it is acid then what happens since saturated sodium bicarbonate is nahco3 so if the acid is present so acid present means functional group it should have that one uh, coh okay cooh acid contains this functional group so what happens when you uh, take this mixture and you add saturated sodium bicarbonate that nahco3 okay and you shake it and filter so what that filtrate contains normally okay 
what that filtrate contains it contains if the acid is present okay if the acid is present then the filtrate contains the sodium salt of acetate what happens c o o h in that h get replaced by na okay and co2 is formed and water is formed so when you uh, that effervescent you will get effervescence okay uh, when you mixture in that you add saturated sodium bicarbonate then you will shake it and then filter then filtrate plus concentrated you add the concentrated hcl so what happens here we are dissolving this acid okay into the water um, if the mixture contains that acid then we, when you add saturated sodium bicarbonate it what it forms the sodium salt of acetate c o o n a plus water gets formed and co2 gets released okay then that filtrate okay we have what we have done we have dissolved this uh, acid it forms the sodium salt of acetate now we are adding concentrated hcl to regenerate that acid so filtrate contains c o o n a group okay when you add concentrated hcl that na get replaced by again h and nacl will form okay so you will not see because it is a salt it will get dissolved in a water then that filtrate if the acid is present then when you add the concentrated hcl in a filtrate you will get the solid that solid means what that is the acid we are doing regeneration first we uh, what we have done first we dissolve that acid in a saturated sodium okay we don't know what that mixture contains okay so we take uh, we take this not we take this mixture we add the saturated sodium bicarbonate so why the saturated sodium bicarbonate is adding because if the acid is present okay it will react with the sodium bicarbonate it forms the sodium salt of acetate which get dissolved in sodium so it is a salt co n it is a salt so it will go in the water you can't see it okay it is in dissolved form so you will add the or uh, you will take that filtrate and then you add the concentrated hcl so when you add the concentrated hcl that na get replaced by h this step is regeneration of acid we are doing it okay. and then you will get the solid so we are doing with the solid solid mixtures so you will get that solid appears so you get to know that it is a carboxylic acid is present now see when solid appears means your acid when your acid is in the solid form if your acid is a solid then you will get here solid okay now second possibility is there so when you take this mixture you add all this shake well filter filtrate plus concentrated hcl so after adding concentrated hcl in the filtrate if you get the effervescence with the nhco3 solution but you not get that solid no solid reappears on addition of concentrated hcl then your water soluble acid is present when the uh, water insoluble acid if it is there you will get solid here okay and if you have the water insoluble acid or so water soluble acid then you will only get the effervescence you will not get the solid after addition of hcl in it so this is how you do the uh, this acid test 
you must know that why you are adding the saturated sodium bicarbonate how it works okay and then so this is for the acid test are you understanding what i am saying okay so there is a possibility to uh, possibility is there so see now i will tell you first we have done the water solubility test okay so in water solubility test if you get uh, after evaporating the water if you get the ppt then you will uh, get you will know that your one of the compound is water soluble okay water soluble so if your compound is water soluble but you don't know whether it is acid base or neutral okay you only know the water soluble compound is present then if it is acid okay if it is acid then when you do the acid test uh, you do these all these okay steps saturated shake well filter filtrate plus add you you will add the concentrated hcl then if it your uh, water soluble compound is acid then here you will not get solid okay only you will get effervescence with no solid appears on addition of hcl if your water soluble acid is present then this is for the acid test now the next one is the phenol test so how you uh, do this phenol test uh, in this you take the mixture okay now in your handbook it is given like uh, see okay when you do the acid test if one of your compound is water yes. okay, normally one of your compound is water soluble then it time gets getting over you have to connect okay what in minutes see for the phenol test in your handbook what i am telling 